Hey homies, so back, so now you know that Tasha K versus Cardi B, that Cardi B wins her lawsuit against Tasha K. I kind of figured she was going to win um, because Tasha K was saying some stuff about her. So I had a feeling Tasha, that Tasha K was going to win this case. Now, there are some people who sided with Tasha K and was like, oh, she's going to win, this, this, and that. But I always felt like Cardi B was going to win this case. Um, the jury sided with Cardi B, okay, on all three claims of defamation, invasion of privacy, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. And this is all according to the court filings. All right, Cardi B is also awarded every penny of expenses and attorney fees, okay? Tasha K got to pay up. 1.2 million dollars to Cardi B. Now I've also read where she also has to pay 1.5 in punitive damages. All right. Now here's the thing. I just hope some of you vloggers that talk about celebrities in a bad light understand that this could come back to bite you real hard. Okay, because look what it's doing to Tasha K. When this whole thing with Tasha K versus Cardi B, I said this is going to get ugly, and it did. And Cardi B came out the winner in all of this, all right? Now, I'm not a celebrity blogger, but I do watch some or read some of their blogs. And sometimes these celebrity bloggers can come off kind of mean and harsh on these celebrities. you got to understand celebrities are humans too. They're human. Just they're regular people like us, but they're in the limelight. We know about their life. So, with that being said, I think also this lawsuit with Cardi B and Tasha K, I think that it's also like a lesson. And maybe I could be wrong that Tasha K is, you know, is main example. And I think. But Cardi B did. She opened up the doors. Not that, you know, no other celebrity could. But it gave other people light. Okay, you know what? If someone is talking about me really bad, I'm going to go after them. Because Cardi B could have ignored Tasha K, but she got tired of it. And to the point where people were saying to Cardi B, you know, she shouldn't kiss her daughter because of the herpes thing. And that is, that's kind of like a low blow. You know, she has children. And this that can be very emotional and it can cause stress because every time you turn around, somebody's talking about you in a bad way. So Cardi B did what she had to do. She took her to court. They went to court. Okay. And Cardi B came out the winner in all of this. So I just hope that bloggers, you know, when you out here talking about celebrities, make sure that you get all your facts together. It doesn't pay to be nasty. It doesn't pay to be mean. Okay? Not everything, you know, you should say for clicks and views. It's a very important lesson to be taught here. You know, I'm not a celebrity blogger. I talk about other things. Because sometimes celebrity case, you know, life doesn't excite me. You know? But some people, they love talking about celebrities. Now, I now I will say this. I will talk about some celebrities depending on what they're doing. But my channel is not based on celebrities. You know what I'm saying? But this case, this was, you know, I always want to know the outcome of this. Because I'm, I'm not going to lie. I used to follow Tasha K in the beginning. When she first started, I used to follow her. And I thought she was kind of cool. You know, and her voice kind of reminded me of MC, like a little bit, that raspy voice kind of. But I always thought she was cool. But as she became well known, as her channel grew, she changed a lot. You know, and sometimes when you are becoming more and more well known, you got to change how your production is and everything. So I get that part. But <clears throat> it just seemed like, you know, a little darker side of her came out. And I was like, uh, mm, this channel is not for me anymore. But she has a following. And I think she hit one point. I think she had that one million um, followers now on YouTube. Which is great. Congratulations to her for that. You know.
but this whole Cardi B situation, I just hope that this stops her from slandering and being nasty and saying things that's not true. I just hope this changed her a little bit. You know, you can be a successful blogger on YouTube without all that other extra stuff. So, I just hope that she changes after this lawsuit. But Cardi B was like, enough is enough. And she went after her. And Cardi B won the case. So, how do you guys feel about it? Do you think this whole situation is going to change Tasha K um, from how she do her content on celebrities? Or you think she's not going to change? And are you happy that Cardi B has won her case? Let me know in the comment section. And I'll talk to you guys later.